Okay, so I'm starting just a smidge early. I know I, I usually wait until a couple minutes, but truth be told, I wanted to see how well this works. So like everybody else, I'm having YouTube issues today. Like I tried to start this like three times and it was having problems. Um, but so I can't like see live chat normally on OBS, but I have it up on my phone. So I'm gonna watch there. But one of the other things today, aside from new pencils that we are trying is we got better internet. So I, I changed the latency. So it should be pretty, um, pretty real time if I can. So I'm kind of excited and I'm hoping to see how that works. So we'll test it, okay? So everybody put the letter A in chat and that'll tell me how quickly uh, it's going. <gasps> Hi, Shannon. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, my senior. Oh no, is it not working for you? I wow, that's fast. Okay, okay, Lazi got it. So yeah, so I changed the latency so we can get more real time chat. Um, let me know if you guys have any like, I, I know that we're all having like buffering issues as it be. <laughs> there we go. I know that YouTube is having issues, um, but if the buffering is just like too, too bad, then I may change it back next time. But I don't know, like today's so weird with YouTube, it'll be tough to say, but I was able to change the latency because we got better internet. So yay, anyway. Uh, Alex, so I, the reason I am streaming today is because I didn't want to wait until Friday. Um, I got the new Castle Arts on Monday, and so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to go ahead and test them out. So we started this page the other day when we were testing out the Black Widows, and I was just like, seems like a good page to work on, because obviously we're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna get it done. Um, but it seemed like a good page to work on. I made the swatch here. I made this today. I have not, um, ooh, helicopter. Um, I have not put this in the Facebook group yet. I will. Um, but this has got all 120 colors. I'm reworking my charts because not a lot of my charts only have the numbers in them. Um, so I'm trying to rework them so I can fit the names too. Cause I feel like it's so much easier. Black screen and no sound. There will be an answer. Letter B, sung to the tune of... Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, Robin, there... It seems like everybody's been having those issues because everybody that was having black screen issues today, like on Claire's stream and Vicky's stream, um, I wasn't having any of those issues. So I'm not quite sure. I think it's it has to be YouTube. Maybe it's a location thing. But on my end, everything looks normal. So I think it's a YouTube issue today. Yes, exactly, Lazi. Yeah, so I'm. Uh, I want to try and rework them to have all of the. I, I hesitated putting names in them before because the writing is smaller. But if you look at it in real life, it's it's easier to read. So, anyway, uh. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm so glad that this is working. So I haven't tested any of these. I did sharpen them all. Made me very glad I had my electric sharpener for sure. Um, let's see. These were what came in the box. This is Universal Color System. Looks like they've got all their different pencils that are in there. Dang, I didn't realize they had so many. What do they have? We have the 120 Soft Touch, 72 Soft Touch, 72 Watercolor, 72 Set of Pencils. What else? Drawing pencils, drawing set, watercolor paints. I did not realize that Castle Art had this much stuff. Of course, maybe that's why they put this in here. Hi, Sue. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the black screen. Kind of, kind of unfortunate. I'm not really sure what else there is to do about it. So, oh wait, does this open up? Ah, okay, here we go. Look, it came with a color chart. So that's handy. I haven't filled mine out yet, but that's handy. You have the oil best paint pens? Okay, sounds good, Ashley. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. And hello, everyone coming in. I know I missed the hellos this time. I sort of jumped right into it. So blanket hello to everyone. I'm so glad you're here, um, despite all of YouTube's issues. Um, but I've heard so much about these pencils, like a ton. Like I know Johanna used them. I hear a lot of good things from everybody else about how they are. So, um, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things and I was curious about them, so I wanted to try them. You know, it's interesting though. The chart that they have here is not the order that the pencils come in. Yeah, look, they don't put them in number order here. How funny. Okay, here, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Uh, wrong way. There we go. All right. 
Make sure that's in focus. Okay, so look at this. So, like, they've got magenta, Indian red light, so it goes 86 to 27, rose, 132. So this chart, they put them in color order, but they didn't have their pencils arrive in that order. So these are in number order. This is in color order. Sounds good, Shannon. Oh, and Shannon, uh, we checked the PA box this morning. We're going to check later this afternoon. So um, I'm looking forward to the home for the pencils. So thank you. Hi, Patricia. Um, yeah, so that was that's interesting. Maybe I should redo a chart with both, like color order and number order. I don't know. What does everybody prefer? Color number or sorry, color order or number order? Yay, Robin. This one. Oh, it gives you how to draw a castle in five easy steps well there you go guys art art classes is, is done just these five easy steps and you can have this castle <laughs> it's just it's just that easy you know just build the colors and uh, make sure you add some definition apparently yeah i'm, I'm gonna guess it's not that easy <laughs> color order for you yeah i may redo this chart then because i didn't open that up i didn't realize that was a color order one all right, gonna have a sip of tea here before we dive in. I know, right, Lassie? Says before nine tonight. Okay, you know, the funny thing is, is like, occasionally I'll try and call my post office to find out what time to fill the P.O. boxes. They don't answer their phone. I'm like, hmm, all right. So yeah, we'll check a little bit later this afternoon, but either way, I'll have it uh, today and then I'll fill it in tomorrow. So I'll show, I'll show it off on Friday and dealing with the black screen that's fair that's fair oh i'm so sorry sue yeah it has to be youtube the fact that it's happening to everybody on everyone's stream tells me that it's not it's not a like i don't know i wonder if it's a to do with the location where someone is watching it maybe i don't know if it's happening in the uk and the us but anyway so what we're gonna do since i haven't hi cat Color order. Okay, well then I'm definitely going to do a new chart that follows. Oof, I can grab it. That follows this chart because Arizona is fine. All right, because this this seems to be in color order. Because I found it interesting too, because the way that these are ordered, you get like some blues and greens here, and then you get your blues and greens down here again. And I was just like, huh, okay. But it was number order, so I'll make a new one using this chart. Um, that you can fill out. And when I'm done, it'll be in there. I'm also, again, I'm still working on that um, Black Widow versus Prismacolor. I have a long list of charts I'm trying to do. <laughs> yes, Loretta. That's what was happening when I was watching Claire's stream. Like, it was skipping and she was repeating a lot of the same things. Like, it literally, like, I forget what she was, there was one word she was saying, but it, like, repeated 15 times. And I was just like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> Hi, Chica. So anyway, uh, but yeah, so what we're going to go and do, we're going to use this for today because I want to test the color on here before we put it on here. Um, I was thinking we could even add some more color on top of, um, on top of her skin tone if we want to, which we might actually, no, we won't start with that. Let's start with her hair. What color do we want to make her hair? Hi, Shara. Any suggestions for hair color? I mean, I haven't even done her shirt color, so we could base her shirt color off of her hair color. What do we think? What do we think? Oh my gosh, I'm loving this latency because I can see what you guys are seeing and it's literally like seconds and that's amazing because it was like 20 seconds before. So I am loving this better internet. So nice. Uh, browns, we can do browns. Let's see. What do they have for browns here? They've got a few of them. Uh, see, I'm used to being able to just like look here and look at the color. So let's see, what do we have for browns? We've got blonde, red, something unnatural, blue, blue 44. Oh gosh, we have a bunch of them now. <laughs> I am not drinking. I Well, I'm drinking tea, but yeah, it's YouTube today, Joanna. It's like everybody's stream, which tells me that it's definitely YouTube and it's not me because on my end, I'm getting no hiccups. So, um... All right, so we have browns, blue 44, something unnatural, blonde, red. We could do blue. I know Shannon really likes that blue 44. We have loads of blues, tons of blues. 
Let's see. Um, well, let's start by grabbing three, three colors. So let's see. Like I said, I haven't swatched this. Let's see. You said blue 44. That's ultramarine light. Here we are. Okay. Here is blue 44. Green because she's ivy. What if we do blue and green? It really does, Kat. Oh, let's do like a blue and green. That could be pretty. Okay, so what if we grab, I'm looking here what we got. Again, I haven't swatched any of these, so I don't know what these colors are yet. So what is this? This is Thalo Turquoise. That could work. This is Hooker's Green. That could also work. Uh, what about these lighter greens? Mint green, jade green. Jade green is pretty. Let's do another blue. Let's see. These are kind of cerulean blue. Okay. And let's see what... What is this? Cobalt turqu tur turquoise. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Cobalt turquoise green. Ooh, violet. I don't know how many colors we can fit in here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's also grab, what is this? This is golden yellow. Hmm. Hoping for kind of a cream. Naples yellow light. That's more orangey. Again, I haven't swatched these, so um, I'm going in blind a little bit, but we'll test them on the um, color chart here before we put them on their hair. So I haven't colored with these at all. So as far as like how it feels and everything, like I haven't done any of that. Okay, um, let's see. It's quite a few colors there. That's probably plenty to work with for now. And then once we get these down, we can figure out our um, contrast color. Check the colors by swatching before you use them if you've not. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, that's why I've got this chart here. And like I said, I'm going to make a new one that puts everything in color order. Okay, so this is Lemon Yellow Light, number one. Oh, that's pretty light. Okay, I like that. They look pretty smooth on the paper. If anybody's curious what paper I'm printed on, you can type in exclamation point paper. They feel a little glossy, if that makes sense. From the way everybody was talking, I feel like I expected them to be a bit more um, prismacolory, I guess. Oh, sounds good, Sammy. Yeah, we'll be on for a little bit still. It's pulling a lot of blue. Yes, I've pulled a lot of blue. Uh, okay, let's see. Golden yellow is number three. Yeah, they have like a little bit of a glossy feel to them. I'll see how they blend. So this one's definitely more orangey. We do not want this one. I, would I think lemon yellow light is going to be a color we want. This one is Cerulean Blue, number 100. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you here. There we go. All right, so Cerulean Blue, number 100. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how excited I am about this latency. Like, I know this is like nerd stuff, but oh my goodness. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so Cerulean Blue is not bad. Sounds good, Sammy. Yep, it's just got to be YouTube today. All right, Hooker's Green, number 54. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm. I don't think that's quite the green I was looking for. Yeah, I think that's a little... Maybe? We're going to set it to the side in the maybe pile. Ah, thanks, Lazzy. Uh, Joanna, I got the new Castle Arts, and I haven't tried them yet. I'm pretty unfamiliar with their colors. So we are um, testing them out, and we're going to put them in uh, Ivy's hair. Okay, here. I grabbed, this is Castle Green Deep, number 57. 57. That's pretty bright. That one's not bad. Hoping for a tad darker. So we'll put that in the maybe pile. Oh, Shannon. Oh, sorry. Okay, Viridian is 52. Okay, Viridian is what I was looking for. Viridian is our green we will be we will be uh, employing here. All right, so Viridian for sure. How do they compare to Artezas? I am not sure yet, Alex. I will let you know. Literally, these few swatches is all I have used these pencils with. I, I hadn't had a chance to use them before today, but I made the swatch chart and I sharpened them all. Um, so I will I will let you know. Okay, so this is Jade Green. 
That's pretty bright. I like that. We'll use the jade green. Let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. They're smoother than the castle arts for my part. Yeah, so right now my first impression with these is that they feel a little bit glossy on the paper, but maybe that's just me. We'll see how they feel on the um, Johanna paper. Okay, so cobalt turquoise is number 48. That's pretty nice. We'll definitely use that. Pretty colors. Are they hard? Um, not as hard as some others. When I blend them, I'll get a better idea of how soft they are. So ultramarine light is 44. Oh yeah, this one's pretty. This is a real pretty blue. We'll definitely use that. Okay, two more we're going to check. Cobalt turquoise green, number 101. Oh, definitely that one. That one's pretty. Okay. And last one we're going to check is Thalo Turquoise, and that is number 102. Yeah, see, I don't like that the blues and greens are split up in the um, in the number order. Okay, so J Green and Thalo Green are definitely the same color family. Um, we're going to keep this one, and we're going to take out Jade Green. So... Cobalt Turquoise and Cerulean Blue. We're going to take out Cobalt Turquoise. There we go. Okay, so I think these are the colors we're going to use. Hi, Tara Lynn. All right, so we're going to use Viridian. Lighten that just a bit so you can see. Okay, so we're going to use Viridian, number 52. Okay, Ultramarine Light, number 44. Cerulean Blue, 100. Cobalt Turquoise, 48. Phthalo Turquoise, number 102. And Lemon Yellow Light, 001. And we're going to grab um, some red or a burgundy to um, complement this uh, after we get these colors down. All right, so let's slide her into view here and let's see how these pencils do, shall we? Okay, so let's start with, hmm, how do we want to do this? Okay, I have an idea. Let's go ahead and do Viridian number 52 first, okay? Yeah, like I said, they feel a little glossy so far, but we'll see how they, um, how they work when we blend them together. Yep. There's that. All right, now we're going to grab Cerulean Blue, number 100. Oh, that's nice. They don't, the pigment doesn't move around as much as like Prismacolors do, but they do seem to lay nicely on top of one another. And as far as the wood is concerned, I mean, it's a budget pencil, so you're not going to get, you know, the kind of quality that you would get from polychromos, polychromos as far as the wood is concerned. Tara Lynn, welcome. Welcome to our coloring family. Thank you for becoming a member. Um, but I did notice, like, because I sharpened these all in the electric sharpener, and it did sound a little... I guess not as smooth when the other one sharpens, so um, we'll see how well they do. Um, I also noticed there, ooh, see, I'm, you didn't see that? Nothing happened. Uh, you also notice there's a little, you can see where the split is in here, so I'd be curious to see how that goes. There you go. You now have access to all of our little emotes there. Lozzie's showing them off. And you have a fancy little badge next to your name, so thank you and welcome. Okay, so now let's go ahead and grab, yes, the uh, the uh, police box that's not copyright. Um, let's see, Lemon Yellow Light number 001. Okay, so this doesn't, you definitely need to blend a little, like do more layers. This is not quite as smooth a blend as I would like. So I'm going to grab Cobalt Turquoise number 48. And we're going to smooth that out just a bit. 
you go. All right, now I want to take that. Um, sounds good, Joanna. Uh, number 52. Another layer here. See how well that darkens up. Oh, that's not too bad. All right, let's grab Cerulean Blue again. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm curious, how do these pencils handle a Karanda Osh blend? A little bit. It just kind of burnishes it a little bit. doesn't move any of the pigment around. So definitely light hands. TARDIS! You mean the police box, Joanna. Police box. <laughs> All right, let's try Ultramarine Light. Shannon's. Oh, that is a pretty blue, Shannon. Okay. We're going to turn this. Hi, Groon. Very nice. All right, now let's see. Let's grab, let's grab Thala Turquoise. Aw, thanks, Lazzy. And I kind of want to have a different highlight color in the middle that's not exactly the same as that yellow. Let's see, what else do we have? There's primrose yellow. What about that Naples yellow light? Let's see what that looks like real quick. Naples yellow light is number 73. Oh, wow, that's really light. That could work. Yeah, we'll do that. Naples yellow light. Yeah, I like that. Smooth it out a little bit with the uh, Kronda Osh blend. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then this will look nice with a real uh, nice kind of like burgundy. I still feel like they're a little bit glossy, like they slide a little bit. I don't think I'd say that I like these better than the Artezas. I think that I probably like the Artezas more, but they're still good. Hi, Boots. All right, let's see. Um, so 52. We should go ahead and pick out our burgundy that we're going to blend with. All right. And I'm not keeping any particular order. Like, not all the hair strands are going to be exactly the same. Let's see. We're using Cerulean Blue number 100. Paul, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on one second, chat. Cat's crawling in the cords. Paul, no, out, 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 out. Hey, hey. Okay, one second, chat. <laughs>
my word, that was almost disastrous. <laughs> yeah, hurting the cat. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so he's terrified of thunder which is fine when he goes and hides and stuff, but he's discovered the really warm place is behind my tower, but this cat is my cord chewer, and that's where all my cords are, and pull on the wrong cord, or chew on the wrong cord, and well, things could be disastrous. So I panicked just a, just a tiny bit, but we're good. We're good, we're back now. <laughs> it was a cat attack. See, this is why the other two are sleeping on the bed. This is why I cannot have them like in here with me. Like. If the other two wake up, then I'll probably have to have them leave too. But anybody that's been here knows my cat's notorious for shutting off my stream or turning off my computer. And it's like, no! Oh my lord. Okay, so Cerulean Blue. And he like, he won't get out. So it's just like, I have to like, I don't know, wiggle him out so we don't accidentally hit any buttons or cords or whatever else. Oh my goodness. Hi, Kenny! Okay, so now let's go ahead and grab lemon yellow light. Yeah, so it was just a short, short little panic. <laughs> All right, uh, Viridian. I have to say, these feel unlike any of my other pencils. Like, they feel soft, but like I said, they feel a little bit glossy. They, they slide across the paper nicely. All right, now we're gonna blend with the blender. Oh. I suppose I shouldn't use the blender when we're testing it out, but I do like kind of how it burnishes a little bit. I will say the colors in this set are really vibrant. Are the dresses going to be a Kickstarter? Oh, for the Gone with the Wind? Uh, no, I am working on the last dress right now, um, and then I'm gonna do a page with bonnets. Um, and then they are going to be released and part of a thing. I'll leave it there. Part of a thing, because I don't know if the thing's been announced. Uh, they'll be part of a thing uh, next month. I'm not sure if I'll, I'll probably release the dresses a little bit beforehand. Um, but, uh, but yes, soon. Soon, Groon. <laughs> that rhymes. Soon, Groon. Uh, let's see. Let's find... See. Let's try aubergine, purple deep, and what's this one? This is magenta. Yeah, they're not bad, Terilyn. I mean, for for the for the cost, I mean, it's amazing. Okay, so magenta number eighty six, eighty six. Move, move this up just a little bit. Yeah, it's YouTube today. It's, well, I guess it would help if you guys could see the color I'm doing, huh? All right, so that's magenta. Okay, I think it's a little bit bright. Purple deep, mountain high. Uh, I don't think I get the reference. Okay, 89. That is too bright as well. We might have to go with magenta. Let's see what... Aubergine looks like. Okay. Ah, nope. This is the color. Aubergine. Yeah. That's what we're going to use. Aubergine, most definitely. <laughs> Will you be translating? Perhaps. She's my transcriptor. Every word, Lazzy. Every word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, all right. There we go. Bring that back up. There we go. All right. So this is aubergine. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that's the thing is that you look at when comparing a pencil and trying to decide, is this the pencil for me? Is it going to work? You, uh, you look at A, cost, and then quality. So you got to find something in your price range. And then once you find the sets of pencils that you like in your price range, then you look at them and compare the quality. So if we're talking price range, this is a really good. Um... Oh, really, Lossy? How funny. Uh, this is a really good um, low cost quality pencil, especially considering how many you get out of it. Uh, OK, so we're going to use the aubergine.
I will say that's going really smooth over the top. That's nice. I think that I will wait to use that blender on our next strand that we do so that we can see how this aubergine actually lays down on top without having that blender on top. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna look real pretty. All right, let's grab that 44 again and let's actually fill in this strand here. And then here, here, make sure I'm still frame. I like having the blue and green hair. I think this is going to be really pretty. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and grab, let's see, let's grab Thalo Turquoise 102. Yeah, they're real smooth. I'll give them that. And I haven't had any broken leads. Like I said, the, the wood did feel like it got chewed a little bit in the electric pencil sharpener. Um, so I don't know how, you know, it tends to keep it from splitting when you do electric though, because it goes so fast. So I haven't done hand sharpening on these yet. So I can't, when, when it's time to sharpen, I'll use um, one of my hand sharpeners. Let's see. Ooh, pretty for five seconds. Oh, Shannon. <laughs> How much were they? Uh, go ahead and type exclamation point castle and that'll give you the link to it um, as well as there is a link for those watching back. There's a link in the description below. Right now, I think they're 47, but at the time that I got them, there was a $5 coupon. And so I think I got them for 43, maybe the coupon's not there anymore. But when I got them uh, last week, there was a coupon with it. All right, let's see. Now let's use... Uh, Naples Yellow, number 70. Huh. Can anybody else see what I did wrong? <laughs> I mean, I think I can make it work anyway, but look what I did. I colored two different strands. My eyes got confused. I thought I was coloring one strand, but I... Yup, that's me. Okay, well, we'll fix that. That's cool. 120 set for 40. Oh, in the case. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Cause I was asking about that when I purchased it and then, uh, yeah, it was a little bit different. So, um, I just linked that one cause that is the one that I got. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So Naples yellow light. Go. Or 72 and I paid 28 99. Yeah. So cost wise, it's fairly, um, it's not too different. All right, this one's gonna be blue. This one was gonna be blue too anyway, so. Okay, right. and then let's see, number, oh, cat. Hi, cat. Thank you for that super chat, Kat. If you are a member, can you use some hype emotes in chat? And if not, can you type in exclamation point hype? Kat, you are so awesome. Thank you so much. Little impromptu stream today and she just pops right in. Thank you, Kat, you're amazing. Uh, Thalo Turquoise. Yeah, it worked out well. They were both gonna be that anyway. You did! You're sneaky! Thank you, Kat. That's a good kind of sneaky. Uh, okay, Naples Yellow Light. We also have exclamation point high five, so that's always fun. <laughs> See, all right, we're going to grab Ultramarine Light again. Go. And then Thalo Turquoise. All right, now let's use our aubergine now. Oh, awesome, Kat. 
Yeah, I didn't really want to wait till Friday to try out the castle arts because I also kind of want to keep using Ergosoft on the page that we're using. And so I was just like, you know what? These pencils, they need they need their own stream. And so I talked with Steve and we decided that it would be a good time to do it. Go. All right, now let's use that blender pencil. Yeah, I will say I do like the combination of using this blender pencil um, and these pencils. They seem to work well together. I mean, it won't do your blending for you in the sense of mixing the colors together, but it will help burnish it a little bit and kind of smooth it out. She looks a little stringy right now, but I swear it'll all, it'll all work out when we're done here. <laughs> they soft like prismas or hard like polys. They're not like prismas, but they're not like, they're not like polys either. Polys I feel are harder, but the way, in fact, let me, I mean, since we're talking about them anyway, let me grab, let me just grab two prismas and I'll show you the difference here. Since this chart isn't going to be the final chart anyway, we're going to take a short detour. Okay. So for instance, this is aquamarine and apple green. Okay. So. I guess they're a little bit like Prismas now that I'm using them, but they're much glossier than Prismas. And then we have Apple Green. I just feel like Prismas maybe lay down more pigment in the sense that they kind of mush together in that way, if, 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 if that makes sense. He is on distraction duty. Well, actually, no. So, um... We, we saved any screen time today so that we could do this later. So it's their screen time at the moment. So they didn't get any this morning and they got some now. So, I mean, that's pretty smooth right here. So let's grab, um, here, let's grab this one. Maybe, maybe, Groon. Sounds good, Kenny. They sort of like the Derwent type pencils, perhaps. But if you're talking the Color Soft, because I found that the Color Soft, um, the color soft crumbled. They were very crumbly for me. I haven't had any breakage or crumbling or anything with these. So yeah, I would say these probably feel more like Prismas than they do now, now that I'm doing it. They probably feel more like Prismas than they do polys, but the Prismas put out a lot more pigment and these Castle Arts, like I said, they feel glossy. Let's see. There's no comparison to prisms periods. I don't even like prismas. Yeah, prismas are really their own kind of own kind of animal. So I mean, if they if somebody were to tell me, "Hey, you have to choose color a picture um, you know, using castle arts or prismas." I'd probably choose prismas over the castle arts. But again, you're looking at price too. So, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kenny. Oh, okay. So yeah, I, they're similar, like using them side by side like that. They are similar. The Prismas are definitely a higher quality, like as far as pigment lays down, you have more breakage issues with Prisma, but there is a glossy feel to these castle arts that I'm not sure I'm entirely thrilled with. Let's see. There are harder to have pencils, why they sort of remind me of Derwent's, probably the artist ones. Yeah, I haven't used the Derwent artist pencils. Um, I've only used the Derwent Color Softs, uh, Ink Tents, and Watercolors. It's been postponed till October 7th. Oh no, Groon! Okay, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and use... Oh, I'm getting these mixed up. I don't want to do that. Boom, boom. boom. All right, uh, let's use our green here, Viridian. You can watch, just not chat, oof. All right, uh, well, hopefully YouTube gets that figured out. Viridian. Here. Go. 
you know, we might finish a few strands of hair and then I'm going to pull up my polys and my artesas because it's going to be easier for me to give you an accurate representation of how they are um, if I have them all out together. So we'll finish this little bit of hair and then we are going to um, grab those other pencils and compare them. Okay, cobalt turquoise, because this isn't necessarily a coloring stream, more as a we're going to kind of compare and test them out kind of kind of stream. All right, now let's grab our... What am I using before? Which one I can... Uh, we'll, use, we'll use this one. We don't have to use the same stuff all at once. There we go. Uh, lemon yellow light is what we're using there. There we go. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. No, of course. Wait, let's see. What did you... Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> I think I missed something. Oh, oh, that. Yeah, no, of course. No, this is, I, I love doing this kind of thing. Like, tangents are my thing. I mean, I, I probably talk more than I actually get coloring done. So I just remind those that question it that it's a color in chat and I like to talk and you all are my friends. So we like to talk. <laughs> Widows? Yeah, why not? In fact, we've colored a few strands of hair. Let's go ahead and detour for that right now, because I want to make sure um, before the kids are, are done here, I want to make sure that we can cover, you know, what's what. And lunch day is all your fault on meeting me. Love because you talked about it on Monday. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, let's see. Let's grab, let's see. Those are the stipulos. Hang on, I got to grab my cases here. All right, here are our teasers. Oof, 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 oof. All right, got our teases here. Here, let's zoom out, boop. All right, our teases, and I need to reorganize my shelves here, I really do. Let's see, Polly's. Here, just gonna stack them all up. <laughs> Black Widows here. Boom. All right, everybody can see, right? There you go. You can see, see the whole thing. <laughs> all right let's see i might just put these right here yeah isn't that nice they have this one on their website okay all right let's open those up hang on All right, let's see. That's the brown side. Let's we've got blues and greens out, so let's do blue greens. It's a good job, Shannon isn't here. Wait, why is it a good job Shannon isn't here? I think Shannon's here. Okay, there you go. Blues greens. Okay. Blues and greens. Uh, let's see. Let's get to a blue greens page for the widows too. Kirsty, hello, hello. All right, there we go. Blues and greens. Okay. So let's grab our paper here. All right. So, oh, pencil purist, no cases. Ah, ah, gotcha. Sounds good, Rob. I'm getting snacks. <laughs> All right. So we have Prismacolor. I'll have to look back later on what pencils we used. Uh, let's see. Oh, Kat, you're so funny. <laughs> okay, so we have Prismacolor. We have uh, the Castle Arts. Let's grab... Oof. Okay, here are two Black Widow Monarchs. And let's grab... Two Black Widows of the previous ones because I've said before I feel like the Monarchs feel a little bit different than the previous sets. Okay, and then let's grab. Oof. They're not all exactly the same colors. Um, I'm just grabbing general blues and greens here. Okay, so we have Faber Castell blue and green, and then. Let's grab, what do 
we have? We have Arteza Blue and Green. Okay. Um, let's see. While we're at it, let's see what other pencils I have on hand we can compare it to. Um, there's Lumi's. Compare it to Lumi's. The Lumi's are kind of their own, their own category. All right. So let's just grab Lumi's too. Okay, so here's the Lumis. Hi, Madison, and welcome. Okay, let's see. I think that's, oop, I'm dropping stuff. I think that might be enough for now. I'm trying to see if I've any, got any others on hand here. Oh, Shapiro Farben. There we go, of course. Can't forget these. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, let's see. Am I forgetting any others? I'm going like by what I'm seeing right now. Oh, yes, I am. Ah, Lyra Rembrandt, Lyra Rembrandt. Okay, so we're doing like a full comparison here today. Okay, let's see. Let's grab, okay, so Shapiro Farbins. We've got a blue and green here. No, oh, awesome, awesome. Okay, Shapiro Farbins, and last we'll grab the Liras. There we go. Hang on, one second. Get this open here. There we go. Okay, Shapiro Farbins, let's grab this one. And this one. Yeah, why not? Okay, so how many do we have here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different brands, okay? And we're gonna compare them to the um, uh, 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 Castle Arts. Sorry, I've got a lot of pencils in front of me. I'm trying to remember all their names here. Okay, so let me grab a pen here. There we go. Hi, Shell. Okay, so we are going to start with I'm going to put these in order here so I don't get them mixed up. There we go. Okay. So first things first, we have the Castle Arts. Okay. Boom. Castle Arts. All right. Let's turn that down just a little bit. There we go. Let's make sure we're in focus. There we go. I know I fiddle with my lighting a lot, but I want to make sure it looks, you know, it looks good. Okay. All right. So first things first, we are going to use the Castle Green Deep number 57. Okay. So we're, we're just generally doing general kind of blues and greens with all of them. Okay. So we'll do swatches by themselves. So like I said, this one has a little bit of a glossy feel to it. Like the best way I could describe it is like in comparison to the Prismacolor. What is on that? Uh, it almost feels um, like drier, if that makes sense. There we go. Might have been watching about seven of your latest live streams yesterday. I hope you don't mind. Oh, Madison, it's so I'm so glad. Okay, and 101. Yeah, well, we're not even normally. Um, I've changed my schedule a bit, but I don't know. I seem to be faltering back into. I can't help it three times a week. Um, but, um, yeah, so this was kind of impromptu. I didn't want to wait till Friday to try the castle arts. I am a little impatient in that sense. Okay. What is under here? I guess it's just writing I had on there. Oh, well, okay. This is just a test page anyway. All right. So now we're going to blend the two colors together. All right. This is more fun than being an adult or, or being, doing an audit. Sorry. I jumped ahead and I said, this is more fun than being an adult. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to blend these two together. So I'm not going to bother with um, pencil names or numbers. It's just general blue and green just because we're testing to see how they blend together. Okay. All right. So that's pretty nice, easy blend. I mean, the, the key to blending two colors is the making sure of like when you're ending a line of colors, you keep it, you know, you can go heavier at the beginning 
and then lighten your pressure as it goes out to make it nice and soft so that you don't have any harsh lines. That's what's gonna help give you a nice blend. Let's see. All right, um, I feel like they're in love compared to my other pencils. Well, these are new for me. So we're gonna compare them to other ones. All right, so that's the Castle Arts. Let's move on to, what do we have next on the list? We have the Black Widows, okay? So, Black Widows, okay. All right, so these ones are not the Monarch ones. These are gonna be, um, Two, oh, it looks like I grabbed two greens. Oh, well. Um, but these are um, from the Cobra and Black and yeah, Black Widow set. Um, okay, so in comparison, the what I'm feeling with the Black Widows is, again, the glossy portion of it. These are a little bit drier, but they do still go smoothly across the paper. Okay. Still blend nicely with that same kind of technique. It's not that these are scratchy by any means, like Black Widows, because I, I really enjoy Black Widows, but like literally the best way I can describe it is the Castle Arts feel, and I know I've said it multiple times already, they feel like they've got a bit of a gloss to it, if that makes sense. But what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of refreshing my brain on how the pencils feel in my hands to give you, to give you a more accurate representation of the Castle Arts compared to the others. Let's see. And if I missed anyone coming in, I apologize. All right. So this is from the Monarch set. Now see this. Um, I remember when, when I did these, I was saying these felt like they had a little bit of a glossiness to them also. I get this feeling. So right now, the Monarchs and the Castle Arts feel fairly similar. The amount of pigment coming out is also pretty similar i honestly would say that the right now the castle arts are pretty similar to the monarchs not the rest of the black widows but to the monarchs because the monarchs to me definitely feel different but there is that little bit of a glossiness to it yes every set of black widows has different color i will say the black widow monarchs did tend they um filled in the colors that were missing from the sets very nicely Okay, so that was the Black Widows here. I'm gonna mar mark M for Monarch because this was the Monarch line here. All right, next we have, let's move this on over. Um, next we have the Polychromos, okay. Polychromos, okay. So we just have a blue and a green. So these don't slide across the paper the way the other ones do. When I say glossy, I mean, that's what I kind of mean. Like there's less grab to the paper. Um, there's not as much friction, I guess. But the polys definitely have a nicer, smoother feel about them in the sense of how it lays down. I should zoom out a little bit so you can still see. There we go. All right, so here's the blue one. Yeah, I like Polly's because they have a nice, smooth, highly pigmented pencil. But if somebody were to hand me the Castle Arts and they were to say, what are these oil or wax? I, my instinct would probably be oil just by the way that they feel. Hi, Rhea. Okay, so that's the Polychromos. Next on the list is the Prismacolors. Now we already we already did those, so we'll make that quick. Prisma color. Okay. Yeah, the polys are real nice. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've been enjoying them. It's like I I there's there's so many pencils and so little time. I thought I was dreaming the Emily's live right now. I know, right? It's daytime. This is the second week in a row I've done this. I don't intend to, but I, you know, new pencils. I get excited. Uh, okay, so here's the Prismacolor again. Prismacolors have always laid down a lot of nice pigment, very smooth, but they also have a slightly different feel than the Polychromos do.
Oh, you know what else we should add to this comparison we're doing? Crayolas. Did I Crayolas? Do I have them in here? I do have them in here. All right, so that's the Prismacolor. We kind of went over that one earlier. Um, I don't have to use much pressure with Prismacolor just because they are so pigmented, and that's really nice. Look, Crayolas also. We're gonna grab. We're gonna grab this real quick. All right, let's see this one and this one. All right, let's do Crayolas next, actually, because I'm I'm curious now to compare it to this one since Crayolas are a significantly budget pencil if that makes sense all right so rayola i know i'm doing like capitals and lowercase i don't know what i'm doing over here <laughs> all right so now we have the crayola okay okay so with crayola they again have a have a bit of a glossy feel but not as much pigment comes out of them in comparison to the other ones I feel like Crayola are going to, um, like my wrist could get tired. They remind me of Tombow's a little bit. My wrist would get tired using Crayola's a little bit. D but don't get me wrong though. That doesn't mean that you can't create beautiful pictures with Crayola's. What I'm saying is when looking at a comparison with all of these pencils, Crayola probably would not be the one I choose just because of its lack of pigment, the amount of pressure. It's a very hard pencil. Um, so, uh, yeah, they don't layer nearly as nicely. Like you can see the individual marks here, but again, it's not like you can't create beautiful pictures with Crayola either. Um, but I do feel like Castle Arts are definitely a step up from Crayola. Like there's no question about that. Uh, thanks Robin. What's up for an hour? I don't do naps. I mess with my brain. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So now next, oh, Lumi's are pretty obvious. I'm more curious about the Arteza. Let's grab the Arteza. Okay. So the goal of this is trying to figure out what similarities these pencils have with the other pencil sets and what they are most like. Um, right now, I would compare them mostly to the Black Widow Monarchs. Like I said, not the other ones, but the Monarchs I find that they are uh, more similar to right now. Okay, next we're going to do these Artezas. So we're going to start here. Okay, yeah, the Castle Arts don't feel like the Artezas at all to me. At all. The Artezas, it's funny too, if you can hear it, I should do this earlier. I'm going to move the mic down later and I'm going to let you hear what the pencils sound like on paper because there's actually a really big difference between it two. Like Arteza's sound drier, if that makes sense. Like not scratchy, scratchy is not the word. Scratchy is not the word, but they have a different sound. And I wonder if you guys will be able to hear it if I put the mic close. In fact, I wanna try that now real quick. So let's shift over here real quick. I'm gonna grab the Arteza's and the let the other one go. Here we go. And I want to see if you can hear the difference between the Artezas and the Castle Arts. So we're going to move the mic real quick. Oh, the Monarchs? You mean those pencils I cannot buy yet? Yes, Lazzy. Okay, so we're putting the mic like right here. Okay, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'm going to turn down the music. Okay. And I'm going to see if you guys can hear the difference. I've got it pretty close. I'm hoping you'll be able to, you'll be able to hear it. Okay. So... I'm going to take my headphones out so I can't hear it. So we're going to do uh, these castle arts first, okay? I'm hoping you can hear. I've got it pretty close. Let's try this, okay? Okay. Could you guys hear that at all? Oh, most definitely, Kat. Most definitely. We're listening to pencils now. Oh my goodness. What has lockdown done to us? <laughs> There's a difference, I swear. I'm going to wait to see if you guys could actually hear that. Not really? Okay. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to move it even closer here. This is a test to see how good my, how good my mic is. 
All right, I'm going to turn the volume up. And I'm going to talk a little bit quieter so I don't blow your ears out now that I've turned the volume up. Okay, we're going to try this again. I feel like I should put the headphones in my phone so I could actually hear what you guys are hearing. No? Ah, dang it. Okay. Okay, let's fix this back then. Darn it. I was really hoping you guys would be able to hear that. Oh, Alex did hear it? Lazzy didn't hear it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Like ASMR for pencils. We try. Dang. All right. Well, I'll have to fiddle with that later. Okay, well, well then we'll just take my word for it. There's a different, uh, different sound to it. Oh, goodness. Or if you have them at home, give them a try. Test them out with your other pencils that are, you know, significantly different. So you can almost hear how they are along the paper. Anyway, it was just a thing. It was a thing. I wanted to see if it would work. It didn't work. <laughs> ah, you have earbuds and on your phone. Okay, that might be another answer. I got really good headphones and I heard nothing. Oof. Big oof. All right, well, I'll have to fiddle with it because that would be kind of fun sometime. Okay, so now we're gonna try the Lyra. All right, so Lyra's here. Okay, so apple green. Okay, so the Lyra's have a little bit of gloss to them, but they lay down a lot of pigment. Like really easily. That's one of the reasons I really like the Liras. And these are the Lyra Rembrandts. Hi, hi Aaron. So right now, these are pretty dark in comparison. I will say the Liras don't blend quite as smoothly as some of the other ones, but I'm also using a much darker blue than I was using for some of the other ones. So that can't be a true, uh, you know, um, oh my gosh, words are hard. Representation. Oh, losing my train of thought. Okay, let's move on. Shapira Farbins, okay? I'm just going to write Farbin. I don't feel like trying to spell Shapira because I'm probably going to mess it up. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go ahead and do, uh, let's see, do this moss green first. Ooh, Shapiro Farbins are nice. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the, a lot of the pencils are subtle, for sure. But the difference between a lot of them is A, how they lay on the paper, B, how they blend, um, oh my gosh, I'm losing so much train of thought today. This is ridiculous. Uh, how they lay down, how they blend, how they feel, how much pigment comes out of them. See, when I try to add A, B, C, D, then, then, then my brain stops working. <laughs> but do I need Castle Art pencils? I have... I'm not sure what that first one, but Prisma, Black Widow, Faber, Amazon's Arteza pencils, and watercolor pencils. Well, I mean... I'm not going to say you don't need them. Throwing that out there. Um, one of the things that a lot of different pencil brands brings to the table, especially if you like to mix media, is they a lot of them have different, uh, different colors available too. For instance, with the uh, Monarchs, they filled in a lot of color places. There are, there are some colors that Prismacolor has. I wish other ones would have. I mean, there's a big difference with those. Hi, Sammy. The answer is yes. Yes. Yeah, Shannon's not wrong. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> All right, so this is the Lumis. Probably my favorite. I don't use them as much on stream, but that's mostly because I know a lot of people don't have them and I want to make sure that my tutorials are there. Plus, I don't want to blow through them. I, yeah, I save them for very specific pictures. Okay, so we're going to do this one. I mean, look at that pigment. And they're so soft. Like, I have the polys, yes, and I have the prismas. But the lumis, 
are probably my top of the line pencils. They are they are probably the best pencils I have, but that's also another big reason why I don't use them as often because I don't want to blow through them. <laughs> Lossy, close your eyes. I love mixed media. I have full set syndrome, so I need to ask if I need castle arts too. Yes, yes you do, April. <laughs> and in fact, if you type exclamation point castle, you'll get the uh, uh, link. Find it, oh my gosh, my brain is not functioning, guys. I had breakfast, I did. gosh I love the crown d'ache they're so nice they release so much pigment like it's ridiculous it's ridiculous okay so here we have what did we test we test one two three four five six seven eight nine nine of them now you're gonna get a different experience when you start layering more and more and you're gonna you know actually be coloring different shapes I mean this was us just blending the two together you know um so if I could rank these, if I could rank these, let me grab a different color pen here. One second. Come on, pens. Oh my gosh. Why don't I have any other color pens at arm's length? Just a second. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's use pink. Pink's a good color. Okay, so if I were to rank these, in what I what I enjoy using them in, I would say definitely, I mean, as far as quality versus, I mean, again, take into account price, okay? So make sure you take into account price because I mean, Lumi's, I mean, let's, let's, let's talk price too because price is a big thing. Price is a really big thing. Okay, so let's go to Amazon real quick. Obviously you can search, you know, shop around and go to art stores and stuff, but if we're talking just Amazon, okay? Okay, Luminance color pencils. Right now, the full set of luminance, not including the new ones, not including the new ones, are priced at two thirty-six. Okay, I'm sure there's tax, few extra cents, but we're just gonna give a, a an easy an easy number here. Okay, so Prismacolor. Okay, Prismacolor are priced at for the and this is you get. You get 76 pencils for this, okay? 76 for 236. For the 150 set, oh, wow, they're actually. And by the way, I have the links for all these. You can type like exclamation point um, Prismacolor, I think, for these ones. Okay, but these ones currently for 150 of the Prismacolor, they're actually priced really good right now. They are priced at $91. Okay, so 91. All right, polychromos, because like I said, you can like certain kinds of pencils, but price is going to have a big, big thing to do with it. You know, and while I've got it up, Castle Arts are priced at, for 120 they are priced at, well, it's $47.99, so I will round this one up to $48, okay? So Castle Arts are $48. Let's see, polychromos for $120 are priced at 205 okay I don't know what they are in the UK but yeah that's really good for Prismacolor it's extremely good for Prismacolor um let's see let's see what else do we have Artezas now I got mine directly off the website but if you're going if we're sticking with Amazon if we're sticking with Amazon the Artezas for 120 are $80 Okay. Exactly. Exactly, Lazi. And Arteza, if I always recommend going directly to Arteza's website to order because they usually have coupons going on there. In fact, um, you can do exclamation point, point to Arteza 120, I think. Um, let's see. You can also find all my commands if you type exclamation point commands. All right. Um, next, we have Black Widows. Now, the Black Widows are evenly... Or our um, oh, come on, Black Widow colored pencils. They are in their own separate tins. So the Monarchs, the Monarchs are forty-eight, and they are thirty-one twenty-five. All of the other sets are twenty-four. Okay, so each set is seventeen. 
Okay, and I'm going to put times three because there's three sets for that. Okay. But I mean, with the Monarchs, you get 48 new pencils. So really, the price evens out to about the same, just with the price of the 24. All right, the Shapira Farben. Shapira Farben are for the 72 are $40. And again, these are all US prices. Uh, if you need UK prices, you'll have to you'll have to check those. All right, so for the large set of Crayola. Okay. 120 Crayolas are $25. And lastly, the Lyra Rembrandts Okay, these are for the 72 set. Oh no, wait, those are the Aquarelle. Never mind. Hang on. Hang on. I want to give you the right ones. Rembrandt Polycolor. Okay, here we are. Okay, so these are for a 36 set. Is that right? That can't be right. That seems, I don't think that's right. Hang on. I want to make sure I give you the right one here. Okay, the Lear Rembrandt prices are going to be a little skewed right now just because um, there's a lack of them. So we're going to go with for 36. Okay. For 36, it's $35. Okay. Once you get into the um, like 105, there's a 105 set, but it also comes in a wood case and it's got extra stuff. And that's like 175. So I don't count that as an accurate representation of how much the pencils cost. Um, just because you're paying for the wood set, you're paying for all the extras. So 36 is probably going to give you the most um, accurate representation of cost per pencil. Okay, so for our most expensive, I'm not even looking at chat. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. How long have I been able to be on without a black screen? Oh, I'm so glad, Shannon. I'm so glad. Okay, so here's what we have then. So we've got 120 pencils, 120 pencils. Um, 76, 120, and Crayola 120. Okay, so these ones here, all common sets of 120. Let me switch back to my thing here. Okay, of 120. So if we're just looking at the 120 sets, you have 205 for the Polychromos, 80 for the Arteza, oh, and oh, I guess Prismacolor is 91, or well, 150, but still. Um... I guess you'd have to break it down of what it is. I kind of want to do the math now, but I won't bore you. Um, okay. Does anybody else want to do the math? I kind of want to do the math because I feel like I can't accurately tell you this without calculating what it is um, per pencil. So give me a second. It's not going to take long. All right. So if you have 120 pencils for $48, you have 120 divided by 48 equals... 250 per pencil. We're going to grab one more color. Okay, so the Castle Arts break down to 250 per pencil. Okay, the Crayolas, that one's pretty obvious, but we'll do it anyway. 120 divided by 25 equals... That's not right. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. Hey, you want a math for me? You're doing the math backwards. I'm doing the math backwards. Help me out then. You're you're my math man. Okay. I have Steve here, guys. If it was 250 per pencil for castle art, that'd be like Okay, well, can you tell me what the math is then? For castle art. Okay, that's not right then. Help me with the math. Do 48 divided by 120. Oh, I did it backwards. Okay, 48 divided by 120. Ah, 40 cents. Thank you. Otherwise, See? This is why I married him, chat. This is why I married him. Dollars first, then the pencils. I appreciate that you <laughs> were watching to help me with my... I don't math, chat. I don't. I don't. Steve maths for me. Okay, 25 divided by 120. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. 25 divided by 120. Are you sure you don't want to math for me? Okay, this breaks down to about 20 cents per pencil. Okay. Yeah, this is 97 cents per pencil. Go for it. Steve, the math genius is here, folks. Stay calm. Exactly, exactly. 
See, who am I kidding? I should have Kat do it. She's like, she's she's the one who runs the numbers on a daily basis. <laughs> okay, so Arteza is, let's see, we're going to do 80 divided by 120. 60. 66. Yeah, 66. Okay. Shapiro Farben is math. I would never have figured it, that it was wrong. <laughs> Yep, Robin's catching up. Emily, you're doing it backwards. Yep, Steve has informed me. Steve has informed me. Robin, we're good now. Okay, so 40 divided by 72. The world gets to see how bad my math skills are. Okay, so 55 cents per pencil. Polychromos is going to be... This one's still 205 divided by 120, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 170 per pencil. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this seriously, chat. This is why I married him. Is that why I don't get to use those? Uh, yes, that is why you don't get to use those. <laughs> All right. So sixty cents like 60. per pencil, and then the Lumies are going to come out to be. Let's see, two thirty-six. Oh yeah, they're really expensive. There's a reason I don't use them that often. Three ten per pencil. Okay, I mean, I could do math on pencils all day. He is backseat mathing, but Lazi, I need it. I need it. You didn't do Black Widows. Ah, Kat just did them for me. Black Widows are 71 cents. There you go. I love you, Kat. Thank you. <laughs> all right, that's all of them. Perfect. What? Well, I love you too, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Love you. I can't math, guys. It's, this is a known fact. Okay, so... <laughs> If we're breaking it down per pencil, the Crayolas are obviously going to be the cheapest pencil because it's hard when you have different amounts of the pencils. Um, Lumi's are going to be the most expensive. Arteza and Prismacolor, especially with Prismacolor's price right now, that means they sell single Prismas, they make a huge profit. Oh, most definitely. Like at Hobby Lobby, Prismas are like $1.20 per single. Like if you're going to get Prismacolor's, get get sets if you can you're gonna get a way better price because individually like it's so much more <laughs> go lazy um but yeah so right now with the price for prisma colors because it's not always this cheap prisma colors sometimes will end up going um uh upwards of like 120 so prisma color prices change frequently when they're under a hundred dollars though i've seen them probably the lowest i've seen prisma colors for is around 70 something so uh if they're under a hundred dollars this is a and, and you've been looking to do it this is a good time a good time to do it um so cost wise right now prisma color and arteza are actually fairly similar cost wise for castle arts your most similar is probably going to be the shapira farben um, and then Black Widows, yeah, they're kind of, it goes, you know, Black Widows and then Liras. Obviously, the Lumis are the most expensive, followed by the Polychromos. So, I guess what you're looking at, if you're, like, if you looked at all nine and said, which of these sets do I want to buy? You would look at quality and you would look at price. So, I would say, price-wise and quality-wise... The Liras are nice. They are nice. They they do a lot of pigment. But it seems that the Castle Arts actually buy pencils like real estate. Buy low, exactly. I do love Lumis, though they're super expensive. Oh yeah, Lumis I absolutely love. I feel like the Castle Arts blend a little bit better than the Liras. But keep in mind, we didn't um we didn't do loads of layers. So if we're talking just a single layer of blending, just a single layer of blending, Castle Arts blend a little bit nicer than the Liras. The Shapira Farben's really nice. They put out a lot of pigment. So I feel like the Shapira Farben's are a good, they're, they're a good purchase. So let's see. And then the Artezas. Artezas are really nice if you can't afford the Prismacolors or the Polychromos. Because like I said, it's not always... Uh, it's not always this inexpensive. So if you can't afford either one of these, I highly recommend the Artezas. Black Widows, as much as I like their new colors, and I love them for skin tone, if you were having to choose between any of these three, I probably wouldn't choose the Black Widows, only because I really dislike the fact that there is inconsistencies between how the Monarchs feel 
versus how the other ones feel. You get a lot of pencils. It's 144 pencils total. You purchase them in individuals. Um, so the reasons that I say Black Widows are nice is mostly because of their different color choices. They have a lot of different color choices and their skin tone sets are really great. So for color wise, Black Widows are nice. If you're talking just blending, you're probably better off purchasing something like the Artezas for sure. And if you have it in your budget, Lumi's kind of top them all. Like this is just a single layer, but once you start adding layers with these, like this is really, really nice. Um, I don't know, I guess I really broke it down to the, the nitty gritty here. Does anybody have any questions? I'm just doing a lot of talking, but if anybody had any questions, and if you're watching this back too, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. But if I were to rank these for myself, which ones I like the best, I would probably do Lumi's first, and then I would probably do Polychromo second. Um, Prisma colors go down on the list for me because of the breakage. The breakage really bothers me. So I would probably put Arteza's three. Um, then Prisma colors four. I mean, if I'm ranking them, probably Shapiro Farbins and Black Widows are pretty similar, but I'm going to say, I'm, I'm probably going to need to put the Black Widows at five just because of their color choices. Farben, no, let's see. Yeah, Farben at six, Lyra at seven, Castle Arts at eight. Sorry, Castle Arts. I just don't like the glossiness. And then Crayola's at the bottom. So that's probably my rank. Now, this is just my opinion. Not everybody is gonna feel the same way about their pencils. Everybody feels differently. This is just me personally on my experience with the pencils. Um, <laughs> I also don't have it on here, but Ergo Softs would actually probably fall. Mm, if we were to put Ergo Softs in here, they would probably end up getting the two or three spot. But we didn't test Ergo Softs today, so I'm not counting them. It's just these three or these nine, these nine uh, myself. It's because Ergo Softs are kind of in their own category. Like you can't, they only have 36. But what I like about Ergo Softs is that sometimes it's nice to have a smaller group of pencils to choose from. Like I, for Ergo Soft for me in their own, their own category. So there's a reason I have Lumis and have not used them. I'm afraid I would love them and never want to go back to more economical pencils. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Let's see. Let's see. Shh, shh, shh. Making sure I'm not missing anything. But I don't know. How does everybody else feel? Like, how would you rank them differently if if these, you know, if you had all, or if you do have all nine, how would you rank them differently? Because like I said, I have other ones too. And, you know, there's a whole other class of markers and gel pens and... And, uh, you know, I still have the Tombos, uh, watercolor pencils, you know, there, there, there's a bunch more, but we just, this was what we grabbed for today. So what we were comparing strictly for today. Wait till, uh, chat catches up. This, this list makes me want to get Derwent just to be contrary. Funny thing is, is I have Derwent. I just don't have the artist pencils. I have the ink tints, I have the color soft and I have the watercolor, but I've never tried the other ones. Ooh, party at Sammy's. I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> See, I don't even know how long I've been live for. What is it? Anybody know how long I've been live for? I have no idea. <laughs> I think almost an hour and a half. Let's see. Person like Prisma is better than Polly's. Yeah. And then Lumi's Light Fast. Oh, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't tried the Light Fast. Prisma's Polly's Color Soft for me. Ah, there you go. There you go. Well, awesome. Well, I know we didn't do much on the inky thing, on the inky, I mean the inky butterfly page, but this was really more of a test thing for this. I'm going to do a new Castle Arts um, chart in color order. Um, about an hour and a half. Okay. I have Derwent, so I'm not all that impressed. Okay. I'll say Sammy says Lumi's, Polly's, Prisma's, Black Widow's, Super Colors. Oh, I haven't tried the Super Colors. Arteza, Sergeant Art, Light Fast, and Color Soft. Ah, okay. I like it. Light fast after the Black Widows. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, so like I said, I have other ones, um, but the, for the ones we did today. The set of 120 I got back when I was in high school, and they came out with new colors. I just got a small set of those colors for for the polychromos, Alex? <laughs> or for the castle arts? Polly's Black Widow and Arteza for me, nice. Yeah, Polly's are definitely always going to be up there. They are, they are... They are definitely a high class pencil. And like I said, Lumi's are my number one and I would use them all the time I could. But I also know practically this is not an affordable set of pencils. You have to be, you know, pretty mom paid 75. Nice. You have to be, you know, willing to invest in them. These these are an investment for sure. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some portrait artists I've seen that use only luminance, but they are they are beautiful pencils. They're gorgeous. And I love them so much. But again, I don't use them as often. So that takes away a little bit of the enjoyment for them just because you're almost afraid to use them because you don't want to use them up. But that's where the nice pencils that are um, cheaper, but you know, similar quality. Like I said, I've always said that Lumi's I feel like are what Prismacolor should be. But you know, not all pencils are going to be the same, obviously. <laughs> Gobbledygook. <laughs> I like it, Shell. I like it. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go. I think, um, oh, let's see. Who did I say? I think Monia is either on or she's going to be on soon. I saw a little notification pop up. I haven't looked. Oh, gosh. Oh, Nick and Tina are on. Color My Dreams is on. Okay. So there's a number of people you can go to. It looks like Color My Dreams and Nick and Tina are on. I also follow the Kennedy Center because they did um, Kennedy Center because they do a they did a museum. They did some drawing classes for the kids. But that's not coloring related. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, Sammy. Well, I want to try and fit in more daytime ones. You know, husband's working from home. I'm working from home. The kids are schooling from home. All I need is some quiet time. And and I think we got... You think she already started? See, I didn't get... Let me look at my notifications here. Oh, yeah. Color my dreams. Monia. Yeah. Okay. So Monia's on. Oh, oh, there we go. I clicked that on. Monia's on right now. Perfect. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go. Everyone um, head on over to Monia's. Looks like she is doing some um, skin with freckles coloring. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, she's good. Very talented. Very talented. The price has just dropped on Lumi's. I got mine at 350 and that was lower than the 450 when I first looked. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. Well, cool. Well, I'm going to head out then. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out for this little uh, impromptu uh, little stream here. Um, I'll be live again Friday evening at uh, 8.30 p.m. And we're going to finish working on that page. We'll be using Ergo Softs again. Um, so, Kat, thank you again for that $15 super chat. You were absolutely amazing. Tara Lynn, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome again to our coloring family. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see everyone on, uh, on Friday. Stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy Monia's, uh, stream, and I will see you all later. All right. Bye.